This is、uh, Matsumoto Shuhei, producer of both Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection and Street Fighter VI. What an incredibly mind blowing thing to come into EVO 2024, where the hype has been very high for like, collaborations lately. The hype has been very high to see Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came back to EVO last year. And just finally to see this collection, how exciting was it to finally be able to kind of unveil this collection to the community? We, we've been paying attention to the scene and we know that, that there's been ongoing community tournaments for Marvel vs. Capcom titles. As you mentioned, there was the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament at EVO last year. And、um, we wanted to accommodate to those fans who've been wanting a new、uh, Marvel vs. Capcom game. We've been in communication with the folks at Marvel for the past three, four years to see what we can actually do. And, Now that we are finally able to re release these,、uh, these classic titles for modern platforms, we're, we're very excited to be able to do so. We're excited to see the fans' reactions and、uh, hope people、uh, are looking forward to it. There is precedent for these collections at this point. Capcom has done a couple collections of their classic fighting games. And I'm just curious, like, Were there any lessons learned or any optimizations the team made along the way when it came to approaching the, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection here as opposed to like, following the, the previous collection releases? Yeah, as you mentioned,、uh, we have、uh, released other collections of past、uh, Capcom fighting games. And. We, we've been having this, this dream and this, this hope to continue re releasing our, our,、uh, our legacy classic fighting games on for modern platforms. And that's why we're able to do,、uh, able to do it for Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. We hope that this series will continue going on and continue to re release other、uh, classic Capcom fighting games. And、um, hopefully, this will be an ongoing thing for us. With what we have now and what, we're, what we know and、uh, what you're kind of allowed to talk about, is there any particular game in the Capcom's history that has not come into the collections yet that you would like to pursue?、Uh, definitely. There's a lot of other titles that we want to re release for the public.、Um, right now, our main focus is on the、uh, arcade. Fighting games, like、uh, the MVC Fighting Collection, is a collection of past arcade games, but there's been other、uh, games that appeared on other platforms that we hope that someday we can re release for、uh, modern consoles. When you bring up Marvel vs. Capcom, or just any of the vs. Capcom games in general, there's a lot of feelings in the community about those games. Like, we have a lot of、uh, long time players, like pros, champions, and,、uh, and just old heads. That have very specific expectations about how those games should play and、uh, how close they should be to the original, or even just certain little tweaks to, like, such as crossplay. And I'm curious, like, what would you say is the greatest challenge in sort of appeasing those classic fans as well as sort of bringing newcomers into the game? So, some of the things that they need to take into consideration are you know, making sure that the titles are faithfully、uh, represented and they, they play as they, they did however many years ago when they first released.、Uh, some things do get、uh, tweaked and, and updated, but the general game system, mechanics, and the overall feel of the games need to maintain uh, the original. Uh, Of integrity and the, the, the feel、uh, to make sure that those players who are longtime fans、uh, can still enjoy these games.、Uh, another thing、uh, that needs to be、um, highlighted is just like the online matchmaking that needs to be smooth and make sure that players feel good about playing these games against other、uh, players around the world.、Uh, that's a big focus for them. And, Uh, you can also expect to see a gallery mode, museum, where you can look back on all the uh, concept art, uh, past uh, promotional art, to,、uh, which hopefully new players will see and they could kind of、uh, experience the history of the series, while、uh, longtime fans can kind of、um, get the sense of nostalgia by going back、uh, and checking out the music and the art. 
Crossplay itself has been a very interesting topic in the fighting game community because the more that time passes, the more we see it's not necessarily easy to do or a, or an answer to all things when it comes to network play. Um, but like, I'm curious, how is the team's approach to net play, whether it be across Street Fighter VI or whether it be across the collections, how has that evolved over time as the team has tried to sort of find that sweet spot where the network just works as well as it can for everyone who wants to play? So the decision of whether to incorporate uh, incorporate uh, crossplay into a fighting game uh, just kind of it depends on the nature of the game and the budget and the schedule constraints. But for Matsumoto-san personally, he feels that he wants he thinks that it is important for players to be able to play against other people online and for that experience to feel good and to be as smooth as possible. Um, so he, his hopes is to get, uh, to have that accessible to as many players as possible uh, for any of his fighting games. Street Fighter VI is in a great position right now. It's, it's, the, it's obviously the flagship here and it's the most entered, it's still one of the most entered games at EVO. Thousands of people competing, but it's still cool to see things like Third Strike make it to the make it to the stage, and then also, like we said, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 last year. And is that something that Capcom wants to continue to pursue? Is a uh, kind of keeping those classic games, keeping those games that aren't Street Fighter 6, obviously always going to be the mainstay, but uh, but also keeping those classic vibes in the mix of Evo and further competitions. Yeah, so the importance of having these kind of throwback tournaments to Matsumoto-san is, is almost as, is as important as, you know, the, folk, the competitive scene of our newest game, Street Fighter VI. And he believes that, um, you know, the, the number of registrations that we're seeing for games like Street Fighter VI could influence the number of registrations for other uh, past Capcom fighting games like Third Strike or Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and uh, you know, because each game has its own unique systems they can be played, um, they can be enjoyed individually from one another but we hope that each game kind of influences and uh, gets people to realize and, uh, and take note of some of the other games so we're very appreciative of the players who keep playing these uh, past titles and hope to continue seeing uh, the, in the same energy and engagement uh, for future uh, competitions.